I was walking by and I noticed your booth. It's way cool. Well, so tell you. me about it. Who, who are you? We're, uh, well, my name's Maddie Bennett. Yep. This is my wife, Deborah. Deborah. Uh, Deborah. Um, we're National Moto and Cycle Company out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Ooh. And so you make moto cycles? We make moto cycles. You can still ride it as a bicycle. So this is just a really cool moped from 1910. So we're going back to 1910? Again. 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 Yes. Back to 1910 yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Because the bike itself is, is it, it's bicycle-like. It is. You know, we're in love with where bicycles became their big brother, the motorcycles. Uh, and that really spawned the whole motorcycle industry. And uh, here we are, um, you know, 100 and plus years away. And we've got 11 million uh, two-wheeled motorcycle riders in the United States. And so we're, you're wanting to take them back to about 1910, right? Yes, yes. And with the, you know, kind of this gritty old uh, experimental profile, because they were moving a lot of different things around and, you know, trying to outdo each other on Sundays on the track. And, you know, those wins on Sundays uh, resulted in sales on Monday. Well, that's true. Yeah. So, that's an old NASCAR thing, too. I know, it is, it is. It <laughs> but is. very true. I know, but very true. I know, I know. They, did, they didn't have the Indian wrecking team and the Harley wrecking team for nothing. Well, you know, we don't have any Tide sponsorship, so that Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we've been at this for about six years. You know, we've went through different versions, and this year we're debuting the Gentleman's Time Machine. Uh, this, uh, we used to build a lot of board track racers, but we were kind of challenged ourselves to build something that was, uh, seat post was adjustable up and back forward, and it, so we could fit someone that might be 6'5". Not everybody's my size at, you know, five five and a half jockey size. Oh. So <laughs> guys like me yes. could fit it, and guys like you could yeah, fit it. Yeah, yeah, it's very comfortable, I'm very comfortable. It. I'm getting it. The, I'm getting it. the wheelbase is longer by about five or six inches from our previous builds. Uh, but, you know, we're infiltrating a lot of new technology. We're uh, hydraulic disc brakes, um, carbon gates belt drive, continental belt drive. Oh, you, you have to say belt drive like a Harley does then? Well, it's, you know, the gates belt drives on Harleys are more of a timing belt. This is actually our drive belt. So, but we've decided to kick it up a notch and, you know, machine all the hubs, do all the spindles, um, the the frame, the drop loop frame, which actually came about in 1909 when the old motorcyclists and racers uh, were starting to put, I guess, put more beef between their legs to oh. hit faster speeds. Who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we've got a lot of brass accoutrements. Uh, it holds about 1.7 uh, gallons. And so we call it the bullet tank. Um, and, you know, at top speed of about 38 mile an hour. Um, Damn. It, it feels like Mach 2, but yeah. you know we've overbuilt this bike. The wheelbase helps for the stabilization, and uh, you know the tires can withstand those speeds. Uh, so, you know. what kind of monster motor is in this thing? <laughs> I don't know about a monster motor, but uh, it's a 49cc, and it's a Moto Marini clone. So it is made overseas, but very reliable, uh, replaceable uh, parts for the engine. Uh. That's important. It is. It is. Um, you know, we're not trying to break any world land speed records with this bike, but you look pretty cool going 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour, 38 mile an hour. And that's about as fast as you'd go in 1910 anyway, right? Well, it really is, you know, and uh, I was watching a Model T, someone on Model T's, and they said it's amazing what you see at 30 mile an hour. So that really kind of stuck with this, you know, yeah. it, it connects you to your surroundings and it's not... It's not all about the A to B. It's about the journey. Well, that's that's what motorcycling is about. It it's is. the journey, dude. It is. It is. So we want to take it back to that beginning. And, uh, you know, National, uh, the name National comes from Indianapolis from about 1898 to 1922. And it was National Motor and Vehicle Company. And in Indiana, at the turn of the century, we had 72 car manufacturers in Indiana. Holy cow. And so with that manufacturing heritage, we wanted to resurrect that name and national won the second indianapolis 500 in 1912 with a race car average speed was 72 mile an hour we have to remember it was a seven and a half hour race 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> 500 miles is a long way. On bricks. On, that's right. It was a brick. They, yes. the, they don't call it the brickyard for nothing, right? That's right. That's right. So uh, we're fortunate. You know, that's our story. And it's indie, and uh, we're proud of it. And we're here to be stewards of that heritage and resurrect that, uh, that craftsmanship, that quality that goes into what we're building. Wow, wow. Now, you got a website or something yes. like that? It's uh, nationalmoto.com. Um, and then forward slash National Moto on Facebook. And we're also introducing the new NMC Moto Gear, uh, which includes, uh, we call our riders pilots because we're, we love the aviate where aviation was happening at that point at the turn of the century. And uh, it harkens back to the Wright brothers and bicycles as well. And uh, so we have, you know, board track racer jackets, helmets, goggles, gauntlet gloves so you can really play dress up uh, when you want to. It doesn't have to be Halloween. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> well, a lot of us dress up even though it isn't Halloween. I know, I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Now, tell me, we're about done. We're going to move along, but thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for we're out of here. All right. Cool. See ya.